thing I want to point out is, uh, about hard drives, external hard drives. We really have a theme going on with these. I think a lot of people are getting external hard drives for Christmas this year. Maybe. Everybody's been good little boys, but on Santa's uh, nice list. Uh, oh, the turkey wants an external hard drive. <laughs> uh, they're so cheap now. Why not? I, I've got an email here from Paul. Paul says, uh, hi, I just watched a video about reformatting a drive using disk utility on the Mac. Thanks. And uh, hopefully it was helpful, but when he went to do this on his C 500 megabyte disk, it was all grayed out, and here are the details of the disk. He tells me apparently it was a formatted Windows NT file system. Not surprised. You buy a brand new hard drive, they're probably not going to be... megabytes. Well, you got ripped off. <laughs> oh, did I say megabytes? Yes, Dealey. He, he said 500 megabytes. He actually said megabytes. I think he meant gigabytes. Oh, well. So, uh, it's easy mistake to make. I still blame it on Dealey, though. Um, but <laughs> um, anyway, I, that's so funny. I read it so many times I never even caught it, so don't feel bad if, if at all. If it is 500 Paul. megabytes, you probably should upgrade. Just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting goofy on this. Anyway, uh, what I want to say is it was formatted Windows mm -hmm. NT file system or NTFS. And basically that format is pretty much a Windows only format. Macs can read it, but they cannot write to it. Which at least not at this time. I kind of like it. Well, um, that's probably what they're going to be formatted if you buy a brand new hard drive these days. They're probably going to be formatted for Windows. And they need the NTFS because you're talking about gigabytes of data. FAT32 is really not a very good choice for Just that. a few gigabytes and you're done. But. Right. Although we found a thing here with Leopard that uh, we plugged it in and we couldn't duplicate the problem on Leopard that we did on the previous version. That's right. Leopard apparently is able to handle that without any problems for you to be able to take an NTFS drive. I actually have one connected here right now that is already. If I click on it here on the desktop and pull up the info, it's actually Windows NT file system, mm -hmm. NTFS. That's what it is right now. I have one connected. And this drive, oh, let me hide Go that away. out. And on this drive, uh, basically you go into erase. And what I found is when I clicked here, it wasn't letting me erase it on using Tiger. And you may have the same problem. But when I went up here and clicked up here, it did let me er erase it. So it's a matter of just choosing the right level of the hierarchy. And so choosing this, if that one doesn't work, try clicking on the other one. It doesn't make a difference in Leopard. It's able to read both of them fine and say, I'll erase it to whatever format that you want. Well. Except for NTFS, it won't format that. It will for FAT32. Basically, the difference between the two hierarchies there is the lower one is actually the partition within the drive. Mm -hmm. So if you actually have multiple partitions, you'll see multiples of those. If you mm -hmm. format the top one, you're going to format all of it and make it one drive again. So and it makes it in the format that Mac likes a little better. Mm -hmm. That may be why Tiger, the older version, 10.4, may have had some problems with it. I'm going to bet you we're in 10.4. I don't know if you actually do say on here which, on your machine, which version. Just read out of everything else. But that I CPU, think. It's using, well, it's got to be. It's using a, probably it's using a Power Mac G4. G4, so yeah, it's probably. So I'll older. bet you that you probably are on. If you have access to the newer OS, I would suggest going there and trying it just to test it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, one thing you will find is if you have a. Uh, you may have a Mac formatted drive for Windows users. If you have a Mac formatted drive you bought from someone on eBay and it's formatted for Mac, you can't read it. You, you may find you have difficulty. It won't even let you format it if it's formatted for Mac. Mm -hmm. So you might need to, go to get to a Mac, format it for MS-DOS. Not one of these, but choose it for MS, that's FAT format, FAT32. And then you can format it for NTFS on the Mac. Okay. There's a program out there somewhere that I was using for a little while. I can't remember what, exactly what it's called. It's like Mac Drive or something. There's multiple programs out there that you can purchase right. that actually lets you boot up in Windows, right. read and write from a Mac Drive so you can share a drive. But if you've already made the switch to so, Mac yeah. and you're not going you know, to Windows or sharing data with Windows users... Once you then... go to Mac, you'll never go back. <laughs> um, okay, next question we got is... Uh...